I am Gertrude Longden, and I work that incarnation uh, in the kitchen in the kitchen for 20 years. Elsie Darris called me to help out because the woman that worked there before I did, I don't know her name, but her boy or her husband got killed out of the airport, going to the airport. And so I said I'd help out for a few days, I stayed 20 years. Who else worked there? Elsie Darris, Mrs. North, Mrs. Kenny, uh, Mrs. All... Nord cooked that time, and Mrs. Kenny washed and ironed, and I cleaned. At least five. Father Gorman and Father Mertz was there. Mm -hmm. And the one that died in Belle Plaine, what was his name? He was here first. But my must have been to it. And he looked at you, <laughs> he could see through you. <laughs> I don't know when he looked at you. He, it was such a sharp look. Just a <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was, he could see through you. Yeah. <laughs> and the Monsignor was there. But we had a dinner at the, there was 20, 24, 26 for dinner. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I always got up at five o'clock, and then yeah. they'd come and get it. Yeah, okay. I made the dressing and everything at home here. From eight to five, you know, I cooked only at dinner. The Brom girls worked there. Oh, and later on, yeah. later on, yeah, Gretchen. No, who was else was there? Oh, he I lived was in there the rectory. Many years. But Father Monahan. There were some younger guys. Um. I used to get so mad at him when when uh, Mrs. Kenny didn't come anymore. I and they, they they always walked over the weekend. See, and they got the dryer so full, <laughs> so I would always throw it in a basket. <laughs> and the girls when they washed dishes. They, uh, they, uh, they weren't careful enough. They got toothpicks and, and spoons in the, dr in the wash, dishwasher. Yep. So Father got mad. Yeah. And we get looked after a concept of couple, Father Monahan. Call somebody. Discontinued it. <laughs> then they had to do it by hand. Hey. So easy enough to work for. When Mrs. Nord didn't uh, cook anymore, then they had a guy that came in, but he was so messy. He threw them, he, the meat. From the from the sink to the to the garbage can, way over. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he was a messy guy. I don't know who he was. Like I mentioned sometimes, you know, the towels they use for baptism. They, they they were full of lipstick or they were dirty. And I said, well, it wasn't me. He said, said that put lipstick on it. <laughs> And I said, well, I, I mad at some of the people because they use it to wipe up the floor and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Bad towels, little ones, oh, that they dried their heads. Sure. And, and, and people didn't have no business wiping their lipstick no. on them. During I your did day. the cooking and the cleaning, both. Rooms oh, too. you'd have to change their beds and vacuum and clean their showers. Oh yeah, it's a big place. Father Monahan liked pork chops. Um, there were some priests there. They, they, that one priest, I don't know what his name was, was very. Uh, I wouldn't eat that. He didn't eat this and he didn't eat that. And Father Monahan said, "Well, we only fix one thing. If you eat, you eat it. And if you don't, you go without it. So <laughs> that's what it is. You can't you can't cook for a whole bunch. What was put on the table? We were eleven at home." St. Bonifacius. Father Cat's married. Killed us on shells with, with BB all over the floor. Every time I dust us. <laughs> the Monsignor yeah. took all the ladies to dinner to the Leamington one. And the next morning he called me up and he couldn't find his teeth. I should find him. 
never found a seat. He had to get new ones. I know that he how was supposed to the funny one of the bunch. Father Malone. Oh he lost a lot of weight. The only thing that I know about him was when he took off when he wanted me to uh, make his hands with some uh, on the sides and to make them uh, smaller. They always slipped on him <laughs> and I couldn't couldn't do that. They would bring it too too close together. And I put new zippers in for Father Monahan on his hands too. Oh, I don't know. I forget. Did oh, you? Oh, sure. Was something that was so close by. It was nice. See, my husband was on. He couldn't go out either. He was here at home at with uh, mm -hmm. with his, uh, with his uh, oxygen on. It was right in the corner here. He slept on the couch here all the time. Before I started that, I did housework. I went around all over. <laughs> they didn't bother to find anybody else. I just kept staying and staying. Well, there wasn't anything to do at home here. Mm -hmm. Everybody was gone. My kids were gone. Well, there they went to school. My daughter went to school at the university. Now she lives in San Diego. They kind of see how they got breakfast. No, I, I made coffee, but I didn't uh, always see that the co co was coffee there. I did the washing after Mrs. Kenny did, and the ironing a couple of sure. times a week. And Father Schiller always put pins on them where there were spots on his shirt, he always pinned them. They Anybody could come, yeah, and, and, and somebody go to the door. Uh, Elsie Darris was there when I was there. She'd go to the door and then if you had a wait, you had a wait. The front room was where Father Monahan was. The little rooms all were taken out to the to the, the right. They they took them all out. You know, there was some sort of small little rooms where each one where where you met the priest, you could meet the priest or somebody and have a conference with him. But uh, they took all those out, yeah, to make a bigger room. No, I didn't wash the windows. I cleaned out in between and opened the windows. Some, nice. They were always linen at first, but later on then they got other different colored oh, ones. Yes. They're not tiny. They, oh, they have a sink in. They had a sink in. They gave everything away. You should see the upstairs now. Compared to us, every bedroom they they got out. They put when the priests all left, then, then the sinks went, the, the the quilts and the blankets went. They gave everything to the poor. Beds too. There were the, the rooms were all empty. I don't know what they are now. Did they lost hair? <laughs> like other dogs. Oh, everything. And then. Uh, To get rid of hair, no vacuum cleaner picks up all the hair. I don't care what you say. Buttons? Yeah, buttons barked all the time. Well, buttons was. Didn't he, didn't, didn't he die though? Yeah, he died before I quit, I guess. But he barked all the time. And when he, uh, when you dare not say anything about his dogs, he gets mad. Tony Ma said. I told the doctor to shut up once. <laughs> he said, don't talk to my dog that way. <laughs>